Hockey Canada's High Performance One Coach Education Program is a significant program in our uh, structure of working with and training coaches in our system. Uh, Hockey Canada leads the way in all sports across the country in uh, training and certifying an extremely large pool of high performance coaches. I took my first NCCP uh, class in 1983. And uh, for me, that was the beginning of a real relationship with hockey. Uh, it allowed me to, uh, to learn uh, as much about the delivery of the game from a coaching uh, perspective as anything. Certainly, we all think because we played, we've got a pretty good handle on that. We don't. And uh, there's an awful lot of outstanding coaches out there uh, that we watch on television every night that are, that are actually certified. What we really want to do is we want to give coaches the opportunity to attend these events, to establish networks of colleagues within the sport, uh, but also get to hear some great presenters on topics that are critical to the coach's development. Yeah, you know what, you spend a week with uh, you know, some coaches that are coached at all different levels. You get uh, the minor coaches and the amateur coaches and then you get some coaches that are doing it for full time and it's their livelihood. And it's a unique experience. You spend a lot of time with them in the classroom and you see how some are prepared. I was fortunate enough to go through the system with people like Mike Babcock and Jeff Ward and Todd McCollin. So you build a network. It allows you to talk hockey a lot. Sometimes you're thinking, why, you know, what does this have to do with it? What does this have to do with it? But the higher up you get in terms of the level of athlete you're, you're coaching and the, what they're aspiring to do, everything falls into, into place. So, you know, in the end, it's made me a, a student of the game and a lifelong learner. I get a real charge now out of talking to other young coaches that are pursuing the same objectives as me, and that's just making a difference on the ice for a group of players, quite frankly. And I think it's, I think it's incumbent with the position. I think it's incumbent with the NCCP and sort of that continuing education, if you will. It's almost like paying it forward. When I finally got to level four, it was like, a light went on and I was like, okay, now what do I do to be better? Like I've always had these courses, so I ended up going back and being a group leader um, with high performance ones and high performance twos and level four, and, and that allows you to continue to stay updated. The coaching fraternity is something that's a pretty uh, tight-knit group, and uh, you know, you continue to grow, and you know, there's always a saying that you beg, borrow, and steal. You beg for the drills, you steal one, and then you borrow one as you go along from the grassroots all the way through up to whatever level you want to coach at uh, from the competitive stream, have to recognize that the person giving the message is confident, well-spoken, um, you know, has, has a plan and is well-organized to the point where they really believe this is going to be an exciting opportunity because of the person in front of them having taken the time to become certified. The game's always growing and changing and the players want to know what you've done lately. They don't care what you did in the past. Uh, so you have to be able to show them that you're constantly upgrading and educating yourself for them. 